Let's choose to 5,000. I uh, got another addition to my, uh, I guess you want to call it, collection of tractors here. Um, you can see the original in the very back here with a Sims cab on it. <clears throat> I got the 682 all ready to go for snow, which we haven't even had any yet. Um, here it is. Was it January 10th, 11th, somewhere around the 12th? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> about almost two weeks into January. And uh, still no snow yet. So, uh, anyway, I've got the, uh, the 61 original. It's, uh, 1149 serial number. It's got the, uh, thin front axle, which I guess it was known to breaking if you were really hard on them or something like that. I'm not really sure. Um, but I guess the later originals had the much beefier axle. And uh, I was told if I was going to use this a lot for plowing, <clears throat> I should swap it out to avoid breaking it. But, uh, I don't know. <clears throat> this is the trip plow, so I can't really see that being an issue. Um, if this was the non-trip plow, I, I would see that being more of an issue. But, uh, anyway, uh, I don't really plan on using it much anyways, because I got the 682, and uh, I got the weight on that. I got way more weight on it. Um, I mean, it would be nice to have a cab, but, uh, yeah, well. So, anyway, um, the weights came off the 1,000. They, uh, they weren't really doing that much on the 1,000 anyways. And uh, so I took them off and put them on the original, um, in case I do want to plow with it. I don't have chains for it, but uh, I don't think those tires will do all that bad. Um, I've only got ags on the 682, but uh, ags seem to work pretty good in the snow for snow plowing. So anyway, it's a 61 original. Um, I believe it was made in January, so it's fairly early. Not, not like a three digit, but uh, still pretty close. Uh, it's got the headlights, which I still have to wire up. Um, it's got the creeper gear, it's got the cab, it's got the, uh, the seat pan's been all re-welded, it looks very nice, it's got this nice seat cushion on it, um, creeper gear works pretty good, uh, the thing starts really good, even right now it's, uh, I don't know, I think it's like 25 out, uh, starts right up. 682 actually didn't want to start, but I got to replace the battery. It's uh, three years old, and I think that's about it for the battery on it. But uh, anyway, it starts right up. It runs pretty good. I think it will need a head gasket at some point. Um, it doesn't really seem to idle that good, but uh, today it seems to be way better. Um, it could be anything else, though. It could be gas or whatever. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. This has got a, a little hand operated windshield wiper here um, original glass I assume it's not broken and uh, it's pretty good shape the cab itself is in pretty good shape other than this rip um, I think somebody tried to put this down under the hood I'm pretty sure this is supposed to ride on top of the hood uh, I had it inside of the hood or further back and there's just not enough room here with gloves on um, to turn the steering wheel and now it seems to be way better um, so if you need to fill this thing you're gonna have to unsnap the front snaps on this and uh, slide the fabric back to uh, put gas in it I know I think that's how they were anyways uh, most of the Sims cabs um, and even the glass uh, the big glass front ones with the metal I think you had to tilt the whole front of the cab up to get to the get the hood open something like that anyways um, this is my first cab cub cadet I had a Bolins but uh, that was pretty uh, tore up the cab w versus this is actually pretty nice um, it's got a couple little things here and there but uh, it is really nice shape um, got the like I said it's got the 42 inch plow on it so trip plow not the you know non trip and uh, the only issue I had with it is I got this lift rod on and it was way too short. So I had to make this lift link. It uh, adds about two inches to the throw. Um, and it works fine now. It uh, wasn't working before. Not sure what was going on there. But, uh, oh well. So let me, uh, let me start this beast for you. 
should start, it was already running. It runs a little bit rich. Um, it runs pretty nice. Let me lift the plow up for you. That's the height I get when I lift the plow. Pretty good. Uh, it's got to be three or four inches up. And uh, it seems to be just right. Uh, this has got the float lock out as well, if you want to put that on. But, uh, like I said, I don't really plan on using this much for plowing, unless I get some chains. Uh, I was also told that the creeper gear is a little weak, and you probably shouldn't use it for plowing. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Um, this is actually my first original out of all the tractors I've had just uh, these are more of a collected thing hold on here than a uh, using or use uh, working whatever um and I saw this one with a cab it was uh you know the next uh, state over and I kind of figured I should grab it just because it was had the cab. And uh, it's in really good shape for being a older restoration. Um, the plow, yeah, the plow could use paint, but it's a snow plow. And I don't know. You push snow with it, it doesn't have to look that good. Um, and even the blade is in decent shape. This is kind of bent here a little bit. And the blade itself is kind of all, you know, warped and whatnot. But it still works. Um, it's got one skid shoe left on it, but the other one's gone. So, uh, and for this driveway, it's not going to matter anyways. Once it's frozen, like now, it uh, kind of just glides over it anyway. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, I'm going to try and keep it. But uh, if I get offered, you know, some decent money, um, I would actually definitely sell it. It's uh, nothing that I absolutely have to keep. But, uh, yeah, it looks good. It runs good. Um, it, it could still use a little tweaking here and there. And uh, i got to get the lights hooked up. Um, i got a light switch. i got to hook that up. And uh, it's got new rear tires. So that was cool. But, uh, yeah, anyone have any questions, uh, let me know. I'm not really knowledgeable on the originals. I know most of the other ones pretty good. Um... But, and I know a few more things now since uh, I was told, you know, about the axle and the, the creeper gear and the lights and so on. But, uh, I don't know, looks cool. Like I said, there's two different plows for these. There's the trip plow, which is what this is. And uh, this is how you hook it up. It's, uh, you got the bolts that go through the top of it on these U-shaped bars. And then these go back to underneath the cab. You hook over the uh, foot pedal rest, about a three-quarter inch bar or so, five-eighths, whatever it is. Um, it's pretty easy to put that on. Uh, it would be a lot easier without the cab because the foot rests on the cab actually sit on those bars. And uh, you actually got to kind of beat the plow on to get it in there. Um, but once you get that all figured out and get it bolted on, um, the lift rod, there's a... There's a spot where the lift rod fits on. It's got a like a circle-shaped end on it, um, and it hooks on the mower deck lift bar there. Not very hard to figure out. Um, and then you go through the frame with it. It goes right through the frame. You can basically see where it hooks in on the back side. Um, and I got this hooked up right. It's supposed to angle to the uh, uh, let's see to the left when you're in the cab, just like it shows in the video here. Um, and I couldn't figure out why 
the lift rod wasn't long enough so that's why I made that extra link I didn't ruin anything doing that either but uh, if anyone knows why that rod isn't long enough uh, supposedly both trip blade and non trip blade lift rods are exactly the same length they're the same part number um, but this one will not work it holds the plow up in the air at least two inches um, when that was on all the way and uh, I have the lift bar stop all the way off um, and there's nothing hitting anything at all either so uh, yeah I'm not sure why I don't know if it's because the cab's on I don't know I don't really know but uh, anyway guys she looks pretty good I think it was a good buy um, at this point I'm not really worried about selling it I think I could sell it if uh, we get some snow here or if uh, somebody is into collecting some of these old beasts and uh, wants the snow cab which looks pretty nice on it actually but uh, hey guys I'll uh, see you in another video here just want to quickly go over what I got in the garage here is the 682 this is the original 682 that I had in some of my first videos uh, it's a 782 I actually bought back from my buddy it's uh, was the one I had the snow plow on in the winter it's got the hydraulic front ports and it had these tires on it um, which those tires that were on this are long gone uh, this is the 1100 with the 440 Polaris in it got the 680 over here I actually swapped the eggs off of it and put the uh, 682 tires on it. Um, and then my dad's 1000 here. It's pretty nice shape. I haven't painted this one yet. I don't think I'm going to. So, uh, yeah, so run down what I got and the new rig I got. Uh, I actually made some more room in here. So, I just got some sheetrock laying down for work. But, uh, yeah. Pretty cool original. My first, my uh, what's how many tractors have I had here? Uh, this would be my 68th tractor in uh, three years. Not as big big of a list as some people's, but you know it's a good amount for as many as I bought. So, uh, all right, guys, we will see in another video. Hopefully. Uh, one with some snow. I'm going to try out this uh, MTD plow I made fit to 682 and uh, go from there. See you guys later.